Welcome to Rex Finds TV. I'm Angie Walker. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. Sitting comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Brain breaks sure do help me cool down. Now for today's word of the day. Hey Pam, what's wrong? Oh, hi. It's just that mosquitoes have gotten berserk lately, and I have so many bites. Oh, yeah, they always get out of control around this time of the year. Yep, I just hope I don't get bitten by any more berserk mosquitoes. <laughs> Me too. See you tomorrow on Word, Word of the, the day. day. Well, I can't believe how much of Word of the Day has helped impact my vocabulary. Let's check in with Aiden for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Angelie. I now have a new word to use in my everyday life. Sports fans, today we take a look at a young woman who is determined to change the sports world. 19-year-old Sam Gordon went viral at only 9 years old when she did circles around the boys in her Pee Wee League in Utah, making dozens of touchdowns and tackles in her games. Later, she formed the first all-girls tackle league in the U.S. Sam is in college now and recently partnered up with Under Armour to launch football camps for high school girls. She even helped to design the first football cleats made just for girls. The lesson here is, if it doesn't exist, create it. Now let's see what's cooking with Joshua. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch sounds amazing. We have hot dog, hot dog bun, baked beans, baby carrots, ranch dressing, fresh apple, mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Andrew Lee. Thanks, Joshua. That sounds yummy. The Spring Music Show is today at 6.30 p.m. It is the last music performance of the year, so you don't want to miss it. I know I won't. Sports fans, tomorrow at 6.30 p.m., we'll be hosting the Rex Pines Athletic Awards Ceremony. Come out and support our outstanding athletes one more time before the year comes to a close. And lastly, this is the last week to cash in your Hero Store points as the Hero Store will be closed at the end of this week. I hope you got everything you wanted. Now, let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Angelie. Morning Patriots, today get ready for a majestic 87 degrees Fahrenheit with some rainy skies. Patriots, looks like there's going to be rain for the next few days, but let's hope it doesn't ruin our summer fun. In other weather news, you may have to hold off on eating strawberries for a while. The US and Canadian government are investigating a hepatitis A outbreak that's connected to strawberries. Hepatitis A is a rare type of liver infection that can cause red rashes and welts on the skin. The strawberry brands Fresh Campos and HGV are under investigation now. So if you shop at places like Audi, Walmart, and Trader Joe's, you should throw them out. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thanks, Randy. Today's birthday boys and girls are Talia Tinzer, Malcolm Sylvester, and Jaden Jean Baptiste. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Angelie. Thank you, Valencia. Here are your pet's expectations. They are present. Present yourself positively. Act kind towards others, treat the schools and buy respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Ms. Carter and Ms. Stone. You both are the only ones who had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which animal has the largest eyes? The correct answer is the giant squid. Now, teachers and scholars, here is today's trivia question. 
What is the largest bone in the human body? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesdownrenaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.